If you're looking to quickly create a cute greeting card, today on craft to care we'll be making these adorable fingerprint greeting cards. I'm so glad you're here because this is one of my favorite things to make. They are so simple to do. Kids have such fun making them and they're great if you want to make a batch of cards like for maybe birthday party or we love to make them for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And it encourages the old fashioned art of note writing because isn't it more fun to send a note to someone if it's on a card you created yourself. And if you'd like to see more videos each week on how to craft and create for others, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started making cards. You'll need some paper, 20 pound regular paper will work, but I generally use a card stock that's a little bit thicker for when I'm making cards. You'll also need a scissors, some paints in the colors that you need for your designs. Today we'll use yellow, gray, and green. A plate for putting the paint onto and dabbing your finger. You'll also need some permanent markers and pens for drawing designs on your cards. And then if you would like, instead of paints, if you have stamp pads around, you could use a stamp pad instead of the paints. So first we'll lay out our paper and fold it in half and generally make a smaller size card. You of course could make a large card like that, but I'm going to fold mine in half and cut it so that we'll have just a little bit smaller of a greeting card, kind of a standard invitation size card. Fold it in half again and we're ready to get started painting. Decide whether you want it to open from top to bottom or to the side. So we'll get at our plate and our paints. For the froggies we're going to do first today, we will use a green. You can make your froggies whatever color you want though. So I'm just going to put a little dab of green paint on the plate. I'm going to decide which finger I'm going to use. Sometimes um, one finger works better than the other, so you can kind of test whether you'd rather use your index, middle, ring finger, maybe even your thumb. So everyone's a little bit different. I'm going to test out with my index finger first and then my middle finger and see which one I like that makes a better print. Rub around to make sure you have enough paint on your finger and, and then you can see the pattern that you're going to get. So once I've decided on which finger I'm going to use, you just simply rub the paint around your finger. Make sure you don't have too much or you'll get big blobs on there. You can dab some off on the extra sheet of paper. And then we're going to put our three froggies on our card. Just takes a moment for them to dry and then we'll get out our markers and draw some little eyes on our frogs. This can all be done very quickly so you can see where you can make a lot of these cards in bulk if you would like because you can just put those fingerprints on there really quickly and then it just takes a few minutes to draw the little embellishments and make your froggies. Next we'll make the legs and you can see how quickly our little froggies are coming together. Now of course they need some little nostrils and their mouth. So put that on and then our froggies will be done. Now if you'd like to add a little bit more to your card, you can add a border around your froggies. I'm just going to use an extra piece of paper I've laying around, make a straight edge around there and make a little bit of a border. We're going to add a lily pad to our froggies today. So I'm just going to get out my green permanent marker and put my little lily pad in there. Of course you could use crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have around. And then on this one we're going to write happy birthday. Of course you don't have to write anything or you can just put whatever message you like. I just thought happy birthday sounded cute. Now moving on to making our bumblebee card. We're just going to get some yellow paint, do the same thing, rub our finger around in there. We see I did some tests with that. I'm going to use my middle finger to make our bumblebees. So we're just going to put as many as we want on that card. This card's going to open to the side. And so I'm going to put five little bumblebees on there. We just put on wings and then we finish up our wings and they of course need little antennas on our bumblebees, little stingers we're going to put on there and then they need to be happy bumblebees so we're going to put little eyes and little mouths and you can see how quick it e easy it is to do bumblebees also. There they just need their stripes. Now they look all dressed up and ready to go. And for our mouse we're going to use some gray paint or you could also use the gray stamp pad so I will show you both today. The paint does come out a little bit darker and show up a little bit stronger. The stamp pad, I generally will go over it two or three times, but the stamp pad is kind of a cleaner option. So if you have stamps around, 
um, it's a little less messy to use a stamp pad than the paints. Now we're going to put our ears, our tail, our eyes, and some little feet on our mice. And to embellish them a little bit, I'm going to get some pink color in his little ears and his nose a little bit pink. Oh, and we forgot the whiskers, so got to put some whiskers on him. And there's a mouse card all finished up, standing around in a little field. And now you've just created three cute cards that you can use for any occasion. I had fun making these cards with you today and if you have any questions or if you have suggestions on what project you'd like to see next here on Crafty Care, put that in the comment section down below. And until next time, have fun crafting to care.